Hey everybody, I'm Matt Lamana, dinosaur paleontologist here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit about our new dinosaur armor exhibition. This exhibition discusses and shows the evolution of armor in animals over the course of about almost 600 million years, starting with invertebrates, animals without backbones, progressing to reptiles, including several awesome dinosaurs, uh, going to mammals, um, including some mammals that convergently evolved features very similar to armored dinosaurs, and then finally concluding with um, the influence of natural armor on humanity. Dinosaur Armor is a partnership between the museum and Gaston Designs, beginning in the oceans with shells, which we might not even think of as armor when we first think about it, all the way through the evolution of dinosaurs, like ceratopsians with their giant horns and ankylosaurs with their scutes and their armored bodies, through to armored mammals even in the present, like armadillos, and even take a look at how humans have been inspired by the armor that they see around them in the natural world to create our own. The exhibit that's about to open is Dinosaur Armor, and it is a collection of models, casts, and uh, sculpture, along with some live elements that we are presenting for the first time in this 8,000 square foot gallery. Typically when we do a big, big installation like this, uh, first we, we have to tear down the previous exhibit and then rearrange all of these 10 foot movable walls that you see behind me into the new configuration that'll house this exhibit. This is a layered effort uh, in about five or six different phases which in this case required a lot of construction of the giant platforms. Once that was complete, we were able to bring in the backdrops and have those assembled. At all times, because of the uh, pandemic, we had a limited amount of staff involved. So we did the exhibit in phases. We grew it in each different phase with a minimum amount of staff, which typically is not how we operate. A lot of times we're crawling over one another in this gallery to try to uh, meet the date, the opening date and that can be very difficult at times. Uh, this, we really found ourselves to be quite lucky in that our shipments that were coming in, all the different elements and the crews, all parsed out in a way that allowed us to work independently of one another. One of the big things that you might learn when you go through the show is that all of these different unrelated animals, um, insects, mammals, reptiles like dinosaurs and turtles even, evolved similar armor. Even though they're not related, they evolved this armor because it works. It's a protective device. It is also a way that animals kind of communicate. The interesting thing about this exhibit, I think, compared to something like dinosaurs in their time on the ground level, is that there we have uh, an atrium height of 50 feet above the Diplodocus and the Patasaurus. In this gallery, our ceilings are only a little over 13 feet. So the scale has changed dramatically. When you are in this gallery, you really get an idea of the size of these creatures and how enormous some of them were. And uh, I, I find that that is a real interesting takeaway, that the dynamic changed dramatically when you put them in a smaller space. My main takeaway for people from this exhibition would be that uh, armor in nature is extraordinarily diverse. There are a lot of different ways to defend yourself if you're an animal. And also that uh, almost from the very origin of, of animals themselves, animals have had to defend themselves from attack from predators and therefore have evolved diverse types of armor. Uh, one of the other cool things and maybe one of the coolest things in this exhibition to me is that it, it shows the same uh, adaptations for defense uh, often work uh, regardless of which particular predator is trying to eat you. So it tells us a little bit about how evolution works, about how natural selection works, favoring certain adaptations that have proven themselves useful uh, in different types of organisms throughout Earth history. I was just up in the dinosaur armor exhibit this morning with a young boy, 11 years old. So excited to see it. It's so amazing to see the variety of form in which evolution has manifested the various ways that organisms have protected themselves from predators and competitors over the millennia. That 11 year old was me. Being up there, I was reminded of how much I loved that kind of thing and what a sense of awe I had as an 11 year old. 
The 67 year old he was with, that's me again, has spent his career studying the way that the evolutionary process works and the miraculous variety of inventiveness of the evolutionary process. It's there in full glory, sometimes beautiful, sometimes just plain strange in the dino armor exhibit. So I hope you come, bring whatever 11-year-old you have around with you and, uh, and enjoy it.